Hi everyone. Well, a new study says that teens who smoke marijuana can lower their IQ for life. They tested 1,037 uh, kids in New Zealand. They followed them from birth to uh, the age of 38 and the IQ tested them at, when they were children and then as adults and they found that the 5% who were heavy chronic cannabis users during adolescence lost an average of 8 IQ points. This might not sound like much but if you go from having an IQ of 100, which is about average, to 92, which is 26th percentile, this could put you at a serious disadvantage. And they also found that the effects were permanent. Even if the person had stopped smoking weed, they stayed stupid. You can see the abstract of the study here. Persistent cannabis users show neuropsychological decline from childhood to midlife. This is actually something that Anne Flo has been warning us about for years. You smoke too much of that quacky tobacco and you're gonna turn yourself into a marshmallow head. So it's pretty disturbing. I mean, nobody wants to have stupid kids. But I have to wonder, um, whether there was maybe not something else going on, maybe some other variables. Was it really the pot that made them stupid? Or was it that those who uh, wanted to smoke a lot of pot when they were teens had other stuff going on that contributed to them smoking pot and also having a, a decline in IQ? Maybe they had other problems, like maybe they were under a lot of stress. Maybe they had post-traumatic stress disorder. Maybe they had depression. Maybe they'd been abused. Um, or maybe they, had, they were at some other kind of disadvantage and that that had something to do with why they smoked weed and also why they lost their IQ points. Also, it's known that IQ tests are culturally and racially biased, so maybe they're also biased against potheads. Maybe if they'd had different kinds of questions, the potheads would have done better. Katie bakes 12 hash brownies and invites three friends over and gives them two brownies each. How many brownies will Katie have left at the end of the night after her friends have gone home? Answer, zero, because of course they found the rest of the brownies and ate them. Johnny is trying to score some weed. He calls his dealer Bobby who says he'll be there in 20 minutes. However, Bobby is eating Burger King and hanging out with Steve who works as a parking lot attendant. Question, how long will Johnny have to wait to get his weed? Answer, four hours. Still, it's alarming to think that teen cannabis use may damage your brain for life. But does it really damage the brain for life? Other studies have shown conflicting results, such as this one mentioned in this article in New Scientist in 2002, marijuana does not dent IQ permanently. Here they studied 70 middle class kids from birth and the IQ tested them at age 10 and then again between 18 and 20. And they found that the ones who were current chronic heavy users of cannabis, um, their IQ had gone down by about four points as opposed to eight points in the other study. However, they said that this only applied to heavy current users and not those who were light users, abstainers, or former users. They concede that IQ may be spared, but memory and cognition may be harder hit. As in, maybe because you're high all the time, you're just not doing very well on the test at that moment. To really answer the question of whether cannabis permanently affects the brain, what they should do is some randomized perspective studies where one group is randomized to smoke pot and another group um, is randomized to not smoke pot. Of course, it would be kind of unethical to do that with children, but they have done it with mice and the study showed that marijuana increases brain cell growth. This was actually done with a potent synthetic form of THC and it showed that rather than turn your brain into Swiss cheese, it actually made it grow. Although they do mention here that using cannabis can affect your memory and your concentration and lead to poor academic performance. And speaking of cannabis and kids, here's another interesting thing. Cannabinoids like those found in marijuana occur naturally in human breast milk. So now you know why your baby gets so dopey when he nurses. So you would kind of have to wonder though, I mean, if the babies are exposed to these cannabinoids from the breast milk, couldn't that be dangerous? Couldn't they maybe turn out to be dumber? But the question has never been whether breastfed babies turn out dumber, it's always been whether they turn out smarter. According to the results of an Australian study published in Pediatrics, children who were breastfed for six months or more outscored their formula-fed classmates in tests of reading, writing, and math at age 10. However, the benefits were gender-specific, with only boys achieving significantly higher test scores for reasons that remain unclear. 
So if cannabinoids in human breast milk make babies smarter and synthetic THC makes rat brains grow, how is it possible that smoking pot could make teens dumber? I think probably this has something to do with the political agenda to just demonize cannabis. And they're always putting the focus on the danger to youth and, and, and kids getting stoned. And they always make it about people wanting to get high. And they overlook the, the main things about cannabis, which is that it's a medicinal plant. It's useful for things like curing cancer and treating neurological disorders. And obviously there's also a lot of industrial uses to it. And it's probably like the best plant on the planet. I'm not really sure if I'd want my own kid to smoke it. I certainly wouldn't want him to do that if it made it harder for him to do well at school. But they're always putting the focus on that. Oh, it's dangerous for kids. It's a dangerous drug. Everybody wants to get stoned and stupid on it. And they kind of really diverting people's attention to that instead of to the bigger picture, which are the benefits of the plant. So I don't really know what happened with this study, but I suspect that there was a lot more going on there than what they're telling us and it's very easy to skew results and massage statistics and have in extra variables that will affect the results so personally I wouldn't put too much stock in that in that particular study um, what do you think and I'm curious would you let your teenagers smoke weed do you think it's good or do you think maybe it, it is actually dangerous so uh, let me know what you think and uh, thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time